today in this video tutorial i am going to show you how to fetch contact from a contact list uh, most of them most of you also know how to fetch it it is very easy we need to just uh, use a framework contact and uh, using some method we are going to fetch all the details from the contact list so uh, here one thing i am going to show you that uh, if a person add extra dates for example if you see here uh, I added an extra date over here birthday anniversary and wedding anniversary so how we fetch these three things from the contact list I will going to show you in this video tutorial so let me show you how we uh, it work like uh, let's add it you can see add date over here add anniversary so let's add anniversary over here uh, if you if if uh, if you want if other if a person add extra date like uh, wedding anniversary okay like you can see more than one date a person can add over here so how we fetch these things in a contact list so today in this video I am going to show you uh, briefly so let's begin first thing we need to do is uh, import contact framework okay we did that and the most important thing is uh, permissions we need to add permission and info playlist so let's find our privacy So privacy contact informations app want to use your contact list you can uh, add any information over here as per your project now what we we need to import contacts first thing we need to do is is to check whether the permission is granted or not now let's uh, define a store so, okay using a store what we need to do is we need to check whether the permission is granted or not let check dot request access for what for contacts So uh, what we it is, it is a method which asks the permission to ch and check it whether it is authorized or not. So in using this method, I am going to fetch all contact details. So let's call over here. 
okay uh, now let's begin so there is a method there's a function call unified contacts using these unified unified contacts functions we uh, it will fetch the all details from the contact list before that we need to pass a predicate so let's define a predicate cn contact dot predicate for identifier so we need all details from the contact list default contact identifiers okay so let's uh, put predicate over here now uh, here is what what kind of key we need to fetch it like given name family name birth date and all that whatever we need to fetch we need to put it over here so let's uh, put it let's uh, define all, every, each and everything contact birth date key we need a birth date right so we need to do is key and key descriptor yeah, let's copy this because it don't take too much time So another thing we need CN contact family name we need a given name given name is a first name and family name it will return a surname we need phone number and also as I told in the beginning of video we need to fetch a uh, all the dates uh, all the dates put it by a people like anniversary and wedding anniversary and all that so we need uh, to set date key so it will return all the dates extra date date after DOB So what it will return? It will return an array, which contain a CN contact mutable array. So let's uh, fetch it out in contact. Uh, now what we need to fetch first thing is given name. So let's uh, print print first name. Let's do it full name full name con dot given name so it will return a first name and uh, we need a family name. it will return a surname now uh, what we need another thing we need a birth date so let's uh, what let's define one more let's create a format reformat Let's check whether it is nil or not, otherwise it will get crash. Here birth date return in date components. So we need to convert that date component into a date. So let's uh, do that first. Now let's print date of birth. We already define a parameter date dot string form 
update DOB update. Okay. So first uh, let's check it out whether it is going or not. After that I will show you to fetch extra dates like wedding anniversary and all that we already said in a previously. Now I'm asking permissions and uh, okay you can see uh, we are already getting a value from a contact list. So John please, uh, John Apple is uh, having a date of birth of June 22, 1980. Okay we are, we are getting it. Now we have already described our date of birth. Now let's fetch a phone number. We are, I think we didn't put phone number here. Maybe we already put it, sorry. So what return phone? It returned in form of array. So we need to do it as in on dot phone numbers print phone number ph dot value dot string value I will show you why I am putting all these things uh, why it is give uh, what it is returning form of because one person have more than one phone numbers that's why let me show you why I'm using this string value can see a phone number it is coming in form of string value parameter that's why so let's print it out okay we are getting a all details date of birth and phone numbers and all that now as I told you to fetch extra dates so let's do that it is also returning an array now we need to first we need to print well, what it is that it is for anniversary or a wedding anniversary and all that so print dt dot label as string Another thing is we already define a format so string for our date dt dot value dot date Let's find out. Mm, it is not uh, printing right because we didn't put a key over here. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry. It, it is printing over here. You can see our uh, anniversary date anniversary and wedding anniversary so i didn't see that uh, it is working perfectly we already defined a key or uh, we already put it a key over here this one okay let's show you contact so you can see a birthday anniversary anniversary 23 july wedding anniversary is 23 may 2015 okay it is working perfectly
so uh, you 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 wondering why it is coming because uh, it is it is coming from the contact list so we can filter out uh, using a contain and print manually so it is very easy so uh, you have seen how i fetch i use this method so use this method uh, in your applications in your projects and uh, get the detail so if you like this video please like it and uh, please subscribe it i will come up with more videos more interesting videos and more challenging videos uh, for ios and other application other languages also please subscribe uh, one thing i forget to tell you my name my name is anish malik and uh, this is a gyan laboratory thank you and bye bye